guys, this is Jessica. Welcome back to my channel, The Retro Farmhouse. If you're new here, consider subscribing as well as hitting the like button. Uh, today's video, uh, I've been trying to get up forever. As some of you may know, I've had kind of a crazy month, um, but I'm glad to try to finally get this up before Christmas. Um, hopefully this uh, helps inspire you guys. I'm sorry it's a little late, but I know you still enjoy watching some of the videos anyways. So um, some of these projects came about um, from friends that have suggested um, to redo some of these projects and then other ones um, were just inspired by things that I might have um, seen at local uh, department stores or things like that um, that I knew that I could kind of recreate on my um, own with much less um, you know, costly items. So hope you guys enjoy and uh, let's get into today's video. For this project, I'm going to start out with three scrap pieces of plywood that I have. I've cut these into various sizes here. Um, you can cut them any size you want. This one's probably, uh, you know, a foot by foot on each side to make a square. And then my other ones are more rectangle in shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint these three different colors. I'm just using what I have on hand. You can get the plywood at any hardware store and a lot of times they'll cut it down for you if you don't have a saw. Um, I just have some leftover paint sample here and then I'm also going to be using some Waverly uh, chalk paint in the color crimson and I wanted to paint another one a green color but I didn't have a whole lot of green so I'm just going to take a little bit of my Waverly chalk paint and moss and mix it with a little bit of this holly green that I got from Walmart. This is just the Americana brand and you can pick these up uh, for like 50 cents to a dollar or something a piece. So we're gonna start with painting each of these with a couple coats of paint. If you're concerned about any bleed through showing with your plywood, most certainly you could prime this beforehand. I'm not too concerned about that with some of these pieces. I think it would actually make it look a little bit more weathered, which is the look that I'm going for. So I ended up adding a little bit of black acrylic paint to my mix here. I just wanted more of a muted green. I would recommend if you're going to be having these outdoors in the elements to use an outdoor paint, but I'm going to be having these in a covered area. Uh, so this will do just fine for now. For my next step, I want my presents to look just a little bit more aged and rustic. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of dry brushing on these with my chip brush and just some darker brown paint. So I'm just taking a little bit of um, paint here and I'm just kind of offloading onto my palette, or actually this is just a plastic um, cutting board. I get these from the Dollar Tree they work really good just as like little paint boards and I'm just gonna take that and my uh, present here this one I want to stand up um, this way so whichever way you're gonna be placing your present that's the way I would recommend doing the brush stroke so I'm just gonna start here on some of my edges and just lightly pull down To make my boxes look more like little packages, I went ahead and made some bows just by gathering um, a few loops here. And then I always like to save my little twisty ties like from the bread or packages or anything like that. And I tend to use this to um, gather up my bows and kind of secure that in the middle. 
And for the rest of them, I just kind of did some different things here and there with making um, bows across the front and across the side um, by adding the ribbon on with just some hot glue. To make a more simple bow, I've just kind of taken um, this larger ribbon and I folded it over on top of itself and then I just kind of gather it in the middle here and then I take my little twisty tie again and I tie it in the middle to secure it. And then to hide that twisty tie, I just take another small piece of my ribbon and I cut off a really small piece and I loop that over the middle there and I just hot glue that down. For my next project, I'm going to be using this tray. Um, I was given this tray somebody was getting rid of. And I see a lot of these from time to time in thrift stores. You can usually find them really cheap, but this uh, idea I thought would be really cute just as a, um, if you have a, a child at home or maybe you have somebody that you're looking to do a more homemade gift for. Um, I thought this would be really cute to kind of redo and put a little bit of signage in here um, and you could use it for your tray for your cookies for Santa. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to tape off my edges here because I kind of want to keep um, this part how it is and so we'll just use some painter's tape to tape around here. Okay, now that my chalk paint is dry, I did apply two coats onto this. I went ahead and made a little um, template with my Silhouette uh, Cameo 3. Um, just a little sign that says, Welcome Santa. And I'm going to take my white craft paint and just a little makeup sponge. And I'm going to lightly dab some paint over this uh, to create a stencil. I'll probably have to end up doing a couple of light coats, letting it dry in between since this is kind of a weave on the bottom of this. Um, if you were just doing a flat material, you probably wouldn't need to do um, a whole lot of coats to get this to cover well. So for my next Trash to Treasure project, I was inspired by this little um, decorative tree that I saw at a local Marshall store. It was really cute and it was made out of like little yarn pom-poms. So I thought I could probably make that. I think the one that I saw for sale was like $50 or something like that. And I knew I could make that for way cheaper. So I'm just using one of these kind of tapered um, apple juice uh, containers here um, that I'd normally would have thrown in the trash and I picked up some yarn from Walmart. This one's more chunkier. Um, you can really use any kind but this one is like 328 yards. Um, so I'm gonna start out and see how much pom-poms I can get out of this. I also am gonna be using a fork to make my little pom-poms. There's lots of ways out there you can search on Pinterest to make the pom-poms but this one um, I'm just using this 
a wooden one that I have it's a little bit wider to make them bigger but um, it doesn't really matter whichever size you want to make these so I'm gonna start out with just taking my uh, my label off here okay, I'm gonna start out with making my little pom-poms here what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start and I'm just gonna wrap this around several times and you usually want this to be the thickness of about maybe half an inch to an inch uh, or an inch like by the time you get it on both sides uh, the more you put yarn on here the puffier your pom-pom is going to be so either way um, I just think that by the time you put them in here the thickness that you're looking for is maybe almost three-fourths of an inch to an inch across Once I have achieved the desired thickness that I'm looking for, I'm just going to uh, clip my little yarn off here and then I'm going to clip another little piece and I'm going to lay this flat and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully slide my yarn here that I've wrapped around off of my um, fork and I want to keep that as flat as possible so that it doesn't come unraveled and I'm just going to put my little piece of yarn underneath and I'm going to tie a double knot um, through the top here. So um, you'll kind of see that both of your looped pieces will be on each side of this. Next, I then just take my scissors and I'm gonna cut all of my loops apart from all of the sides. Now, it won't look exactly shaped well um, from this angle, so then I just go and then I just trim off the excess pieces that I need to to shape it more a little bit like a round ball. On my juice container, I'm gonna start about an inch up and that's where I'm going to first start hot gluing my um, pom-poms on. I'm gonna glue these all around um, all of the sides and then I'm gonna come back here and I'll show you um, what I'm gonna do for the bottom. Since the bottom part does not taper on my juice container, I do have to create more of a taper towards the bottom. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to hot glue my pom-pom up underneath and more secure it onto the current pom-poms that are sitting there to make more of a tapered look. Now for this part, you could use um, what I'm using here, which is just a craft star that I got from the Dollar Tree made out, made out of wood. Or you could also do just a piece of cardboard, um, however you cut it out, round piece or whatever. But I'm just applying some of my Arteza metallic gold paint onto this. And this is going to be my base. So you could do this before you start adding your pom-poms on. Either way, it doesn't matter which step you add this on. But I wanted to add more of a sturdier base onto the bottom of my juice container just so it gives it, um, you know, something to set on. So I ended up taking a bunch of hot glue and hot glued this onto my base and then secured the bottom of my pom-poms on there as well. From there I'm just going to continue to add on to my pom-poms all the way up through the top. Um, if you do want a little bit more of a desired taper look, you can make your pom-pom smaller um, using a smaller fork as you go up, or you could just kind of apply them on here and kind of trim away any excess to kind of create it a little bit more tapered look that you're looking for. I have all this leftover trimmings from our previous project we just did and it reminded me of snow so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm actually gonna take just this is a really simple easy project if you want to do some vintage type um, decorations and you've probably seen this before on some other channels but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this leftover jar that I have 
And I'm also gonna use one of my bigger glass jars that I have. If you saw any of my previous Trash to Treasure videos, um, you'll recognize this one as we took an old pickle jar and kind of decorated this with some signage. So I'm actually going to turn it around to the back side um, when I display this and you won't be able to see that sign so it doesn't really matter because we want this open part here. But basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking my snow here or my yarn, leftover yarn, and we'll be placing that in the bottom for snow. And I got these little Christmas trees. They look like little um, bottle brush trees. I got these from Walmart. The big one was $2, I believe. And then this medium sized one was a dollar. And then they have some that are smaller than this. They have them in this silver um, glitter or they also have them in, I believe, white and a green color. And then I also picked up some of these four little mini um, ornament ones. I think these were under $2 for four of these. I just really like these and the little bulbs they had on them that looks like little vintage bottle brush trees. So we're going to use those to do our little display here. And here's how today's projects turned out. I ended up adding some of my little LED fairy lights to my little pom-pom tree here. I do recommend um, anything that you're adding to any type of fabrics or anything like that that is a lighted source. Make sure you do use caution with that um, as some, some of the items can get hot. But the little LEDs that I have usually work pretty well. They usually don't put off a whole lot of heat. This just really adds a cute little element to my little pom-pom Christmas tree. And I just love these little vintage looking bottle brush Christmas trees in my arty containers that I already had. Um, I love reusing items over and over again. And again, I know you've probably seen these on some other channels, but I definitely wanted to create this for some of my holiday decor. And it's just such a simple little item um, and also a cool way to reuse the yarn pieces that we had. And then finally I have my cute little package display that I'm using for some outside decor. This is such a neat little uh, way to reuse some old scrap pieces of plywood that you have or um, you can also get these very cheap at Lowe's or like a Home Depot store, different things like that. But just a cute little way to kind of dress up um, if you're looking for a vintage or primitive type uh, decor. I'd like to thank you guys so much again for coming along um, on today's video. Thank you so, so much for all of your kind words and support um, over the last couple weeks. I've really appreciated that and hope you guys um, have a great holiday season and that you get to spend it with some family, some loved ones, some friends, and just really enjoy this time. So uh, we'll see you guys again next time. Have a Merry Christmas and a great day.